I have a pretty interesting little device here. So this is a butt cap by a company called XTP. And is that upside? Nope, that's upside down. This is right side up. Here we go. There you go, XTP. And if you look at this and compare it to a normal butt cap, I just, I just happen to have this here. How perfect is that? I didn't plan that. Um, so this is a Yonex butt cap. I kind of hate Yonex butt caps, so I take them off. But you got to take it off if you're going to put this XTP one on. Anyway, so you can see how much longer it is. It's like... It's a little more than twice as long as this uh, Yonex butt cap is. So anyway, the reason for this is because this butt cap is designed to extend the length of your racket. So if you are able to see this on selfie cam, yeah, you can see that enough. Uh, there's sort of a cross section and that basically just pulls this butt cap about half an inch away from your tennis racket. So when you slide this over the handle, that little plastic area is going to be half an inch further away from the butt cap than your butt cap would be. So basically, if you have a standard length racket and you put this baby on, you have a 27.5 racket, which is the standard length for extended length rackets. But extended length technically means, I think, anything above standard. But generally speaking, if you get an extended length racket, you will see that they are 27.5. So here I have two Yonex rackets. One is the V-Core Pro 97, and this one is the V-Core 98 plus. So this one came retail extended length and this one I actually put this XTP butt cap on. So let me talk about this a little bit more because there are some nuances to this XTP butt cap. Now if you look closely you can probably see that on this standard grip this is the this is the Yonex with no extension on it it's already extended. You can see that there's a little more bulk here right? So this is the same grip size but you have to slide this over and so for about this much length of the handle, you are going to have this material, which is just a little bit wider in girth, if you want to call it that, someone's going to laugh. Grow up. <laughs> that will be present for about the width of maybe mm, two thirds of your hand. So I guess I can feel a little bit funny actually. Um, I've just gotten used to it. And again, I'm experimenting with this. I'm not sure if this is something I'll permanently switch to or whatever, but. I wanted to be able to extend the length of rackets that don't actually offer an extended length option. And I've really enjoyed hitting with this V-Core Pro. So the way I grip my racket with my hand size, my pinky and ring finger are fully over that sleeve portion of the butt cap. And then my middle finger, like this part of it is not, and then this part of it is. And then my index finger is completely off of it. I'm just grabbing regular Yonex handle. In principle, that sounds like something that would feel kind of weird, but honestly, over time, you know, once you just hold something in your hand long enough, especially like a tennis grip, um, a lot of the times you just get used to it. And that's been the experience for me. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that about some butt caps, like the Pro Staff butt cap. I have to remove that. I hate that butt cap. That corner just digs into my hands and it literally gives me blisters. And I actually decided to grind down the edges of the butt cap on here as well, because it's very Pro Staff like. So I know so many people that use the Pro Staff butt cap and that never bothers them. And I think that's partly because of the way that they grip their racket. A lot of people have their hand a little bit higher up on the butt cap than I do. I'm like here. So I got the butt cap's corner like digging into the meat of my hand. And so people that grip the racket like that, they might have a stronger opinion on butt caps. But no big deal. I have to do that for all my butt caps anyway. I always got to grind them down. Even those Wilson blade style butt caps, I still have to grind them down just a little bit to get them just right for me. But that's a me problem. And I'm also super picky. So that might not be relevant to you. If it is, now you know. And you probably have a way of dealing with that already. So if you're interested in checking out these XTP butt caps, I think they're very interesting. And they offer the ability to extend a racket half an inch for rackets that don't traditionally offer that. So that's really nice and I appreciate that this product exists. It's probably the easiest way to extend your racket. And it's quite affordable. The install isn't that difficult. You gotta remove the butt cap and then you gotta slide this on and sliding this on requires you to heat it up a bit if you want the job to be easy. You don't necessarily have to, but I would recommend that you do. These are offered in various sizes. You just get the correct size for the grip that you have and it will slide over it. And in terms of how much it's increasing your grip size, I would say maybe it's increasing your grip size somewhere between, well, probably about half. So it probably increases like a four and three eighths to like a four and 
3.5 over 8, if that makes sense, <laughs> mixing fractions and decimals. But I think you get the gist of what I'm saying. It'll increase that portion of your grip up about half a size. Now, this isn't going to matter to everybody, but this does not come with a trap door. So if you like having the whole trap door thing, this one does not. It's just solid on the bottom. I'm not really sure how much I'll care about that over time, but I do always appreciate having a trap door because it allows you to open things up and access like the foam of the handle or maybe add weight to the bottom of the trap door, which I actually do do now that I'm messing around with weights and balance on my rackets. So if that's something you gotta do, you have to either remove the butt cap again, or you can preemptively put stuff in here. But this butt cap has its own weight. It's gonna be quite a bit heavier than a standard butt cap. So you might be adding about 15 grams to the handle of your racket, but that might not be such a bad thing because you're extending the length of it also. So in a way it kind of evens itself out in terms of the racket balance, but you can still find ways to add weight here. Like you could, put a little bit of putty at the bottom of this where the cross is, or you can maybe fold a little bit of lead tape over, or you could drop some kind of glue or drying adhesive or something like that at the bottom and just wait for it to settle. I mean, there's a lot of ways that you can add weight. It's not that technical of a thing. So I'll leave it to you guys who want to do that kind of thing to figure out how you want to do it, because there's a lot of ways to do it. But in principle, installing the butt cap is quite simple. You just remove the old one and you slide this one on top. If you have a blow dryer or a heat gun, that would be ideal. It would make the job a little bit easier. And I'll say one more thing. It's actually a really tight fit. So if you can, maybe this is one of those things that's going to depend a little bit on what racket brand you're using, because racket brands and handles, they all have a slightly different shape and size to them. So so it might actually be easier to install if you get a racket that is a grip size smaller than the sleeve that you're getting, but that also might not be the case for you. And I think at the end of the day, I got this one installed on the Yonex and I got the correct grip size for my grip and I got it to fit on just fine, but it did kind of require that I used a heat gun because like I said, it was a very tight fit. And for anyone intimidated using a heat gun, I really don't think it's that big of a deal. I can leave a link to one on Amazon if you want to. I bought it for about 30 bucks. Have it on like a low medium setting and you basically just like a hairdryer, you just kind of blow it around for maybe 30 seconds or something like that. And then you can feel the product to make sure that it's warm. Then you just kind of push it down, you shove it down. And if it doesn't go down all the way, you can heat it up again and then keep going and just kind of work your way around like that. Anyway, now that I've talked about the grip a little bit, we can look at a little bit of footage of me play testing this product just to show you that it works. And I can indeed play tennis with this. And just for the sake of experimenting, I might look into other methods of extending a tennis racket handle, but this XTP method is nice because it's so simple and accessible and affordable, and you can totally do it yourself if you have some basic tools. So check them out if you're interested, I'll leave a link. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to show your support for the channel. I always appreciate it. It's great to see a little more subscribers every time I come back. And it's really nice to have a little audience to come back to. So I'll see you guys in a future video. Let me know what kind of content you guys wanna see. I'm going to be doing several videos on stuff regarding this racket and this setup from the grip to the butt cap to the actual V-Core Pro 97 and these strings, Black Knight by Tier 1. So I'm going to be using this racket quite a lot. I even put lead tape under the grommets of this racket before I even hit with it just because, I don't know, that was kind of a dumb thing I did. But I sort of regret it actually because now that I've extended it, it's a little bit much to handle. So... <laughs> That means I'll be doing another video about the grommets because I uh, got this interesting stuff that will allow me to fix the grommets because that's a long story short, but basically I messed the grommets up removing them, but it's not really my fault. It's really hard to remove grommets that come new on a racket with the flare on those grommets and then trying to get them back in. It's basically impossible, but anyway, I have a little bit of repair work to do on the grommets of this racket, but I found a really interesting product in the process of having to do that. And I should definitely talk about because people don't talk about that. So. Anyway, stay tuned for that kind of content. I'll be working out on those. Working out on those? I'm not going to be working out on those. I guess I will be if I'm playing tennis, but you know what I mean. I'll be working on those is what I meant to say. Yeah. These are all non-scripted, by the way. All right. I'll see you guys there. Bye.